Europe was heading into a potentially global war, sparked by trouble in the Balkans. Russia mobilised. They were willing to strike. All the great powers of Europe were chiming in. This was going to be the largest war in history. But this is not 1914. In fact, this is 1912. Many people do not know how incredibly similar circumstances to those that triggered the First World War of 1914 also took place in 1912. But during these tensions, it actually de-escalated instead. This video will go over why. Italy attacked Ottoman Libya in 1911, and the Balkan states took this opportunity of Ottoman vulnerability to strike and liberate their people from Ottoman rule. The result was the First Balkan War and ended in an Ottoman defeat. What this did was it created a new massive power vacuum in the Balkans. The new states that formed were Slavic Orthodox states. These states shared little in common with the recently acquitted Muslims of the Ottoman Empire or the Catholics of Austria-Hungary to their north but they did share ties to the also Slavic Orthodox Russia, without whom their independence would not have been possible. Russia wanted to be heavily involved in the Balkans. A strong Russian presence in that region would allow them to surround Austria-Hungary and the Ottomans, two rivals, but also could grant them naval bases in the Mediterranean, which would be good for trade and allow them to put additional pressure onto Britain's trade routes. The Balkans had to be kept in check by the other powers, or it would spell certain doom in future, which historically it did. One of these troublesome Balkan states in the eyes of the Habsburgs was Serbia, who claimed large chunks of their territory as their own. Serbia needed to be dealt with. The Austro-Hungarian diplomats proposed the creation of a state known as Albania. This would cut off Serbia from the coast, meaning trade for Serbia would be done with Austria-Hungary rather than through a sea route to France or Russia or whoever. This would make Serbia partially economically under their control. But Serbia had reached the Adriatic during the war. Austria-Hungary raised an army of 200,000 men and got them ready for intervention in the Balkans. This is why I love geopolitics. Something as simple as a port trade route for Serbia would have potentially brought one of the oldest standing empires into disarray. And so the Habsburg monarchy was willing to risk a global war to prevent it. Russia was all supportive of Serbia publicly, but behind closed doors advised them to compromise, wishing to avoid a war. Sometimes though, the best way to avoid war is to bluff that you are willing to engage into one. Many in the Russian staff wanted to mobilise on Serbia's behalf. A partial mobilisation was agreed to take place in Warsaw. Germany tried to ease their ally, not wanting war with Russia but still accepted that an alliance obligation was what it was, and if Russia attacked, then it would mean war. At this point, Britain stepped in. Their policy that they made public to the Germans was that they would not accept another French defeat, meaning a war on France would be a war on Britain. But a war on Russia meant war with France, and if Russia invaded Austria-Hungary, then Germany would have no choice but to trigger this series of events. But this British message angered the Kaiser, and he predicted the Balkan states would join the Triple Alliance, allowing Austria-Hungary to focus on Russia, and Germany could then go all in on France. Again, 1912, two years before the actual war, but the Tsar would quickly back down from mobilisation plans and the state of Albania was formed. It was Russian de-escalation here that would prevent the war. How eerily similar this crisis was to 1914. Russia backed down in 1912, but would not do the same again in 1914. If anything, I see 1914 as being Austria-Hungary's turn to look back at what Russia did in 1912 and repay the diplomatic favour with their own de-escalation this time round. But they did not. 
This was followed by a falling out between Serbia and Bulgaria in 1913, which led to the Second Balkan War. I may cover this whole event in future, but for now, Serbia was seeing great success. Successes Austria-Hungary could not allow. Versus Bulgaria, who they had no reason to distrust. Bulgaria increasingly looked like a logical ally. The Habsburg Empire prepared for war, but they seemed to stand alone. Italy stated that any Austro-Hungarian action in the Balkans would be offensive and so would not trigger the Triple Alliance to come into effect. And Germany did not want to get dragged into a war with Greece and Romania, Serbia's allies, due to their kings also being from the House of Hohenzollern. Austria-Hungary backed down from the war, but the potential for Bulgaria to be an ally remained. Anyway, subscribe to get notified of the next one, but for now, this has been the history of diplomacy.